Hello and welcome back. This tape starts off with a little bit of uh, the end of the trip to Canada and first back. First chance liquors, first chance to get drunk. And crossing from Oregon into California right here. So there's a little bit of Northern California footage and then heading back down to Santa Barbara. How you doing that handsome gentleman down there in the flat? If you missed the last episode, there's a bunch of footage from a castle contest in Corvallis, Oregon. Mini ramp and vert contest, so you might want to go check that out if you're into that. That's Osa, our newly acquired German Shepherd puppy. This right here, I believe, is above San Francisco somewhere. I don't think it's too far above San Francisco. And it was just on the side of the highway. It's amazing looking. I, I'm not exactly sure where or what it's called, but it's obviously a awesome swimming spot. Here we are coming back into the Bay Area. And it looks like we must have picked up Tony and I'm not sure who else that was on the way or something. I don't really remember that, but or maybe that was just when we got back. This is me skating the DMV and slamming. And this is back at the Castillo house. Ricky Higgins, skating the ramp. Really sloppy switch blunt slides, but I was really psyched that I learned that trick. <laughs> Krishna's parents, Pete, and Linda, and the cats. Jesus. Where's one? Mm -hmm. there's the oh, Small room deck. Trash Looks like we got some Spitfires on there. More DMV sessioning. Like I said in a previous episode, we used to go to the DMV a lot. It was just like three blocks away from my house, so I'd just skate right down there. Whenever I got bored of skating the ramp, I'd go skate the DMV. And then every once in a while, I'd con Krishna into filming me, or it looks like in this case, Jacob. That's his car in the background there. And it started getting the switch blunt slides down a little better. Like that Grosso shirt. Black label Grosso shirt, pretty sick. And there's Jacob's little Honda that he had for a while. I'm always reminiscing about all the cars that we all used to have back in the day. I wish we still all had them. I had a 71 Dodge Dart. That was my first car I ever had. I bought it for 200 bucks. Nowadays, I look them up online and they're worth thousands and thousands of dollars. Anyway, Jake driving in circles around the upper part of the bank at La Colina. <laughs> Sick, not a sticker. Not as super imposing. Super cush bushings. The quest for lucky lager. The quest for lucky lager. So this was us going to get a 12 pack of lucky lager and I decided to make a little movie about it. Documentary, if you will. Go, pull up. Uh -huh. Yeah, pull up. I'm gonna film the little Impala symbol. If you're not familiar with Lucky Lager, it's these little bottles of beer that look like Red Stripe. They're about the same size. And, oh, that's funny. There's Red Stripe right there. Hey. Um, little hand grenade style beers. But underneath the caps, they had little puzzles that you could solve. No Lucky Lager to be found. <laughs> The 
Looks like we struck out at the first spot. Hey, Thrasher Magazine in the grocery store. Our search is over. There you go. There's the lucky logger. The, the quest was quick. Look at this. 439 for a 12 pack. Bargain. Can't beat that price. <laughs> gotta love that. Horse born with human face. Didn't even need the ID. <laughs> Krishna was only 21 right there. I wasn't even 21 yet. Jacob was definitely not 21. He's like a year younger than me. This guy's laughing at us. And then here I am just filming all the boobs in the tattoo shop. We are back at the Castillo Street house in our room. And this is Isla Vista. This is a parking lot. It was originally a church parking lot. And it's just a spot that we skated a lot. It was just some curbs and stuff, basically. And here's Tony Bulis's ramp, which was pretty fun. And this was right across the freeway from my ramp, so we could just go back and forth all the time. This is the house where Shorty started right here. This is where they first got some bolts and sat on the floor and made little piles and put them in bags and got head cards and stapled them on there. And friends of mine like Manabu Kumakura used to sit in there and bag bolts. That's how it all started. West side of Santa Barbara. Chris Watkins ripping the ramp. Tony B ripping the ramp too. You might also remember Brandon Chapman had the cover of Thrasher doing a backside disaster on this ramp, uh, photo by Scott Starr. Back at the Castillo Street House again. My ramp, Krishna's ramp. The Masonite's still looking pretty new here. Chris Watkins and Tony Gillis shredding around. Fuck, dude. Where if you hit me, I'm gonna kill you. Cool. 
Tony riding a real board, real yeah. shirt, thunder stuff. I definitely getting flow from real at this point. I think small room was done. Doggies. Both of you guys do a trick. I'll never pull it. Love to jump on the ramp and go after you when you were skating. Yeah. He just liked to chase the board, but uh, he did that all the time. We were always constantly having to try and keep him off of there. Like I was saying earlier, this is our little curb skate spot out in Isla Vista. There's Fred Conrad. Fred's all about skating curbs, tight bank ramps, and drinking Coca-Cola. We got Ricky Higgins in here with some nose blunt slides. Ricky was one of the guys that was always ahead of the times. He was trying backside nose blunt slides and probably doing backside nose blunt slides when everybody else was still learning how to do frontside nose blunt slides. He always was just a little ahead of the game. flat ground. Fred Conrad with the biggest swell butt I've ever seen in my life. This is Tony Bulis filming. Self filming on some shovets. Ah, Mike Santa Rosa sighting. This was a gap that was in front of our favorite Isla Vista burrito joint, TA's. 
Tio Alberto's or Tacos Acapulco. That's one of Mike and Jake's buddies, Dwight. Tony vandalizing a sign. Just kidding. Just putting a sticker on there. It's not really vandalizing. Plus that sign was bent and trashed anyway. Say something, man. Talk okay. to the world. What would you like to know? I don't know. Hey, well, anyway, today is a beautiful day, and you know what? I'm gonna do my best to maintain and keep it together the way it should be. All, All right, right, bro. Okay. So good. Here is my elbow. Ivy was always a really fun place to skate. Lots of times we'd just take the bus out to UCSB and skate around campus, and then once it started getting dark, you go into IV and yeah. find a random party and check out some bands. And we did that quite often. It was really fun. What do you think, dude? Are you going to do this real quick? Pretty quick. Lots of characters in IV, too. Nothing. Okay. IV is short for Isla Vista, in case you didn't get that. Here we are back at the Castillo Street house with more just time lapse goofing around trying to experiment with the camera hmm. yes it's pouring rain and that date on the bottom of your screen is right middle of summer and on our way out to the skate zone because it's raining and here we go with some epic Mike Santa Rosa shredding Mike had the park wired, man. Everybody knows that. If you know anything about the skate zone, you know that Mike killed that street course. There's April, Shorty's co-founder, and this is Manabu Kumakura. This is my buddy, and he was one of the, if not the first, Shorty's employee. A little bit of Shorty's trivia for you. And here we go again with Santa Rosa. This is out at that church spot in Isla Vista again, skating the curb and taking slams. Well, here's a good clip. Kid Erickson. One of the raddest skaters ever. Kit was an awesome guy, really nice dude. And passed away too early. And he ripped. That's me doing nose bonk tail touch. <laughs> Hit myself in the butt. This is up on the Mesa in Santa Barbara, some elementary school. This is a burrito. John Rodriguez, he's from Ventura. Dude, I was like, 
And he's got a buddy with him here that I'm not sure who that is. I don't know, man. I was all about to fall, and I, and I did. You want to say something? No. Go ahead, say something. Okay. Kids don't want to talk to the camera, I guess. Yeah. This guy. I'm not sure who this is. But that all impossible was sick. And this is me skating La Colina. And UCSP. That's the biggest pile of shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Tony B goofing off. I think we were trying to do some stop motion <laughs> to see if we could like make it look like he ollied over that pile of sawdust. Which obviously we couldn't pull off, but <laughs> so Tony just started diving into that shit. Tony at La Colina. Set up a little parking block this time. La Colina was super fun. Lots of options at that school. Back to the skate zone. Footage of Brandon Yates trying to get in on the act of Tony doing an air to the pump bump. <laughs> Blasting some RKL over the speakers, the Rich Kids on LSD, which was a very famous Santa Barbara Montecito punk band. Santa Rosa and I screwing around. <laughs> yeah. Yes, this footage is classic. That's the Framp. That was Fred Conrad's ramp. So we're coming to the end of the tape here. Hope you enjoyed once again. I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.